Family, friends, and BMX fans throughout the country mourn the death of pro BMX icon Dave Mira. Greenville police are investigating it as a suicide. The 41-year-old athlete is survived by his wife and three children. WNCT's Brandon Goldner has more on that investigation. Brandon. Angela, Ken, a lot of people are wondering what exactly happens. Right now, Greenville police are not releasing much information. Greenville police responded to a house on Pinewood Road around 4 this afternoon where they say they found Dave Mira in his truck with what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Detectives say he had been visiting friends before his death. Greenville Mayor Alan Thomas knew Mira and says the impact of his death spreads beyond the city's borders. It's really hard to talk about. Just, just such a great guy and uh, everybody who knows Dave and, and he was just such a friendly and humble guy around this community. A community now home to more than 20 professional BMX riders after Mira brought the sport to the city. It's a sad day here in Greenville, a, a, life, a life cut too short, and you just wish you could have got to him and understood, but, um, you know, we're going to miss him. It's a sad day. He survived by his wife and two children. Chief Mark Holtzman and Mayor Alan Thomas will hold a press conference tomorrow morning on Mira's death. Brandon Goldner, nine on your side. All right, thank you, Brandon. Our team coverage continues tonight with sports director Brian Bailey, who's covered Dave Mira since he arrived in eastern North Carolina. And Brian, I know you were as stunned as everyone else when the news broke tonight. Mira's death, a huge loss for all of eastern North Carolina, as Brian joins us from the sports department in our newsroom with more. Brian. And it's a loss for the entire sports world. Dave Mira was to BMX, what Michael Jordan was to the NBA, what Babe Ruth or Hank Aaron was to Major League Baseball. He was simply the best of the best. The last time I had the chance to interview Dave Mir was on the sideline at the East Carolina Temple game on the big screen at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. Dave Mir, he was a hero to many. Whether he was performing on national television for Dave Letterman and having fun, or back at home at J.C. Park where it all began, here he was shooting a commercial and he came home to Greenville to do it. Dave Mir starred in video games. He could fly like an eagle. He was an icon to the BMX world, the winningest BMX athlete in history until 2013. He once said it's not who wants to win the most, it's who's not scared to lose. Dave Mir was 41 years old, taken from us way too soon with today's tragedy. We will have more on Dave Mir's death coming up later tonight in sports. Ken Angela, back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you, Bailey. And as we mentioned earlier, condolences are coming in from around the country. X Games have released a statement extending their condolences and appreciation for Dave Mira. Of course, we'll keep you up to date on his story right here on 9 of Your Side. And make sure you head over to our website where we will have the latest news at WNCT.com and on the free WNCT mobile app.